In the realm of space exploration, where the boundaries of human achievement constantly expand, there are moments that challenge our understanding of the universe. The detection of unidentified objects in close proximity to a SpaceX rocket launch is one such enigmatic occurrence that blurs the line between scientific innovation and the unexplained. Amid the anticipation and awe that accompanies a SpaceX rocket launch, an event transpired that would captivate the imagination of both space enthusiasts and skeptics alike. One anonymous member posted an interesting photograph to social media, saying that it appears to show what looks like a strange glowing object. As the rocket ascended toward the heavens, cameras aboard the spacecraft unexpectedly captured an unidentified object soaring alongside it. The object's presence, revealed through video footage, introduced an element of intrigue and curiosity that defied conventional explanations. The object's triangular shape and its synchronized movement with the rocket's trajectory immediately seized attention. The controlled flight path of the SpaceX rocket, combined with the calculated maneuvers inherent to its design, stood in stark contrast to the seemingly organic movement of the unidentified object. This remarkable convergence of advanced technology and unexplained phenomena raised profound questions about the nature of the object and its connection to the launch. As is customary with most sightings, a spectrum of potential explanations emerges, ranging from natural phenomena to uncharted technologies. Skeptics often attribute such events to atmospheric conditions, weather anomalies, or optical illusions that can occasionally create visual distortions. However, in this case, the complex interaction between the object and the rocket's trajectory necessitates a more comprehensive exploration of plausible explanations. One possibility is the presence of an unannounced experimental aircraft, advanced enough to achieve synchronized flight with the SpaceX rocket. Government agencies and private organizations frequently engage in classified aerospace endeavors that remain undisclosed to the public. The object's triangular shape could signify an unconventional design optimized for specific flight characteristics. The evolving landscape of technological advancements, including drones and unmanned aerial vehicles, introduces a range of potential explanations for the sighting near the SpaceX rocket. Drones have become increasingly sophisticated, capable of intricate flight patterns and synchronized movement. A rogue drone operator seeking to capture a unique vantage point of the rocket launch could inadvertently trigger reports due to the unfamiliar appearance and behavior of such devices. This doesn't add up, though, as the rocket was in space during the encounter. The sighting of an unidentified object near a SpaceX rocket also invites speculation about advanced involvement. While the object doesn't provide definitive evidence of advanced interactions, it does contribute to the ongoing conversation about the existence of life in the universe. It's important to approach the extraterrestrial hypothesis with a balanced mindset, one that considers both the allure of the unknown and the need for rigorous scientific investigation. While the idea of cosmic visitors captures the imagination, exploring alternative explanations grounded in terrestrial realities remains integral to understanding the incident fully. The detection of an unidentified object near a SpaceX rocket launch underscores the complex and multifaceted nature of human exploration. While SpaceX rockets embody the pinnacle of technological innovation, the universe continues to hold secrets that challenge our understanding. The juxtaposition of advanced space technology and unexplained phenomena reminds us that even as we propel ourselves beyond the confines of Earth, there is a vast cosmos that remains shrouded in mystery. The scientific method encourages us to approach such phenomena with curiosity, skepticism and open-mindedness. While the detection of an unidentified object near a SpaceX rocket launch raises tantalizing questions, it's imperative to subject the incident to rigorous analysis and scrutiny. This approach respects the spirit of exploration while honoring the need for evidence-based understanding. SpaceX, founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk, has revolutionized space travel with its innovative approach to rocketry and space exploration. The frequent launches and re-entries of SpaceX rockets garner significant attention with live broadcasts and widespread coverage capturing the public's imagination. This increased visibility could play a role in the number of unidentified sightings near SpaceX rockets. 
The bright lights, peculiar flight paths, and dynamic maneuvers exhibited by SpaceX rockets during their launches and landings could create visual effects that observers interpret as unidentified objects. Atmospheric conditions, reflections, and optical illusions can all contribute to the perception of unidentified objects. The concept of unidentified objects has captured human imagination for decades, often conjuring images of advanced visitors from distant galaxies. One of the most persistent questions surrounding unidentified objects is the rationale behind their purported interest in Earth. One of the most common conjectures is that unidentified objects could be advanced probes or vehicles sent by advanced civilizations to study Earth. Just as humans send spacecraft to other planets to gather data, these hypothetical visitors might be motivated by a scientific curiosity to understand Earth's ecosystems, geological formations, and even its intelligent inhabitants. The uniqueness of Earth, with its diverse biosphere and complex geological history, could present an intriguing subject of study for advanced civilizations. Earth's rich biodiversity and genetic diversity could attract the attention of observers. The spectrum of life forms on our planet, from microorganisms to complex organisms, could provide insights into the evolution of life and the potential for life to thrive under various conditions. The study of Earth's genetic diversity might hold relevance to understanding the origins and development of life in the universe. If unidentified objects possess the capability to observe Earth from afar, or even from close proximity, they might be interested in understanding human culture and society. From art and literature, to politics and technology, human civilization offers a myriad of complex expressions that could provide valuable insights into how intelligent beings evolve and interact with their environment. The evolution of human civilization and the diversity of cultures on Earth could serve as a case study in the sociological and anthropological dimensions of advanced species. Unidentified objects' interest in Earth could extend to our planet's natural resources and environmental conditions. Advanced civilizations might be concerned about the way humans manage their resources and interact with the environment. Observing patterns of resource consumption, pollution and climate change could trigger interventions aimed at influencing humanity's behavior and promoting responsible stewardship of the planet. A more speculative perspective suggests that these objects could be interested in Earth's evolutionary trajectory, potentially seeking to intervene or influence the course of human development. This notion aligns with some theories that propose ancient contact between humans and advanced beings. Proponents of this idea speculate that these beings might be guiding humanity's evolution or providing insights to accelerate technological advancements. Another hypothesis posits that Earth itself might serve as a cosmic classroom or hub of learning for various species. Advanced civilizations seeking to study and interact with emerging intelligent life might choose Earth as a destination to observe the process of societal development and offer guidance when necessary. This scenario paints Earth as a beacon of potential within the vast cosmic tapestry. As of right now, the question of why unidentified objects would be interested in Earth is a captivating enigma that invites speculation, curiosity and imagination. While no definitive evidence exists to support any particular explanation, the richness and complexity of Earth, its history and its intelligent inhabitants offer numerous potential motives for advanced civilizations to visit. As humanity continues to explore the cosmos and engage in the search for advanced life, contemplating the reasons behind this curiosity can foster a deeper appreciation for our planet's place within the universe. Whether motivated by scientific exploration, cultural study or potential interventions, the intrigue surrounding unidentified objects and their interest in Earth adds layers of wonder to our ongoing quest for cosmic understanding. Scientists have detected strange signals that could be advanced life. A groundbreaking and ambitious project is underway to explore the possibility of advanced life. This captivating venture involves a meticulous search for radio signals originating from the heart of our galaxy. While these signals, known as narrow frequency pulses, occur naturally through pulses, they are also intentionally generated by humanity in various technologies like radar systems. Due to their distinguishable nature amidst the vast radio noise in space, 
These pulses serve as an exceptional means of communication over considerable distances. Consequently, they have become an alluring focal point for scientists engaged in the quest to detect potential signs of intelligent life beyond Earth. This comprehensive endeavor delves into the intricacies of listening for these distinctive radio pulses, shedding light on fascinating possibilities and adding a wealth of knowledge to our understanding of the universe. In a recently published study, scientists have presented a comprehensive strategy for detecting advanced life. The research, conducted by a team led by Akshay Suresh, a graduate student from Cornell University, involved the development of advanced software capable of identifying repetitive frequency patterns. To ensure its accuracy, the software was initially tested on known pulses, successfully capturing their narrow frequency ranges. Notably, these frequency ranges are incredibly small, measuring only a tenth of the width of frequencies typically used by FM radio stations. Subsequently, the researchers utilized the Green Bank Telescope located in West Virginia to apply their newly devised method to search for these distinctive frequency patterns. The telescope's vast amount of astronomical data was analyzed using the software, enabling the team to conduct an in-depth exploration for potential alien signals. Through this enriched and comprehensive approach, the study provides valuable insights into how scientists can systematically hunt for signs of advanced life. The researchers have chosen to focus their attention on the central region of the Milky Way due to its high concentration of stars and the potential presence of habitable exoplanets. Moreover, this region holds a significant advantage for any intelligent advanced beings residing there, as they can easily transmit signals that would reach numerous planets throughout the galaxy. In order to make themselves known, these beings might employ a strategy involving the use of narrow bandwidths and repeated patterns, as this combination is highly improbable in natural occurrences. Steve Croft, a project scientist affiliated with the Breakthrough Listen program, emphasized the aforementioned possibilities in a separate statement, suggesting that this approach would greatly increase the chances of detecting signals from advanced civilizations. The method utilizes a powerful algorithm capable of swiftly exploring an extensive dataset of 1.5 million telescope data samples within a mere half-hour time frame. While the initial search conducted by researchers did not yield any notable indicators, they emphasize that the algorithm's impressive speed will undoubtedly enhance future searches. This innovative approach holds the potential to revolutionize the way astronomical investigations are conducted thanks to its comprehensive and in-depth analysis capabilities. By facilitating an in-depth examination of such vast quantities of data, this method enriches the exploration and understanding breakthrough. Listen, a project aimed at searching for signs of intelligent life collects vast amounts of data. Akshay, a researcher involved in the project, has developed a groundbreaking technique that offers a new approach to sift through this vast data pool enabling scientists to identify crucial pieces of evidence that could hint at the existence of advanced life forms. In the boundless expanse of the universe, the question of communication across vast distances poses a formidable challenge. As humanity contemplates the existence of advanced civilizations, the possibility of exchanging messages with these distant beings becomes a subject of fascination. One of the most conventional methods of interstellar communication involves the use of electromagnetic signals, particularly radio waves. Advanced civilizations could employ extremely powerful and focused transmitters to broadcast messages into space. These signals, traveling at the speed of light, would propagate through the cosmos, potentially reaching other intelligent beings within a certain radius. However, the vast distances between stars could pose challenges for the successful reception of these signals. The inverse square law dictates that the intensity of a signal diminishes as the distance from the source increases. To overcome this limitation, advanced civilizations might employ sophisticated beam-forming techniques to direct signals towards specific target regions. Laser communication offers a more focused and efficient approach compared to radio waves. Advanced civilizations could utilize high-powered lasers to transmit tightly focused optical signals across the cosmos. The advantage of laser communication lies in its ability to maintain a relatively narrow beam over long distances, increasing the likelihood of successful reception. The transmission of encoded light pulses, 
could convey complex messages, ranging from mathematical patterns to visual representations of their civilization. Laser communication would require precise targeting, and both the transmitting and receiving civilizations would need to align their systems with extreme accuracy. Advanced civilizations might construct monumental structures to serve as beacons visible from vast distances. The manipulation of a star's light output presents another ingenious method of communication. Advanced civilizations could build vast arrays of orbiting objects that intermittently block a star's light, creating a unique pattern detectable by observers with the right equipment. This form of communication, known as stellar flickering, would rely on precise coordination to ensure the decipherment of the transmitted message. Pulsars, rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit regular bursts of radiation, offer a natural framework for encoding messages. Advanced civilizations could manipulate the timing of these pulses to create a binary code that represents their language or symbols. This method would require careful observation and decoding by receiving civilizations attuned to the characteristics of pulsar emissions. A more unconventional approach to communication involves leaving behind artifacts or relics that bear messages encoded in materials or structures. Advanced civilizations could scatter these artifacts throughout space, intending for other civilizations to discover and interpret their meaning. This idea reflects the concept of cosmic archaeology, where the remnants of advanced civilizations serve as a form of communication across time and space. The methods by which advanced civilizations could transmit messages across the cosmos are as diverse as the universe itself. From radio waves to laser communication, monumental structures to quantum entanglement, these theoretical avenues offer glimpses into the boundless creativity and technological prowess of hypothetical advanced beings. Advanced civilizations could have built stable megastructures around their sun. In the realm of speculative science and interstellar exploration, the concept of Dyson spheres stands as one of the most audacious and awe-inspiring possibilities. Proposed by physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson, these hypothetical megastructures encircle stars to capture and utilize their energy on an unimaginable scale. One of the primary motivations behind the construction of Dyson spheres is the insatiable energy demands of advanced civilizations. According to the Kardashev scale, a framework that categorizes civilizations based on their energy consumption and technological prowess, type 2 civilizations harness the energy output of their entire star. Dyson spheres, with their capacity to capture and utilize the energy radiated by stars, exemplify the aspirations of type 2 civilizations. These civilizations, far beyond humanity's current technological capabilities, would require vast amounts of energy to sustain their advanced technologies, power space travel, and support their societies. The construction of a Dyson sphere is an undertaking of incomprehensible scale and complexity. Several theoretical methods have been proposed for building these megastructures. Instead of fully encasing a star, advanced civilizations could construct partial Dyson spheres, which are essentially swarms of interconnected satellites, habitats, and energy-collecting devices. These satellites would orbit the star, capturing its energy and beaming it back to their civilization. Partial Dyson spheres provide a more feasible approach compared to fully enclosing a star and offer more manageable engineering challenges. A Dyson Swarm involves the deployment of an array of solar panels or collectors in orbit around the star. These collectors would capture the star's energy and transmit it to the civilization for use. The modular nature of a Dyson Swarm makes it a more adaptable and practical method of energy capture compared to constructing a solid shell around the star. A fully enclosed Dyson Sphere or Bubble Dyson Sphere entails the construction of a solid shell or structure around the star, capturing its entire energy output. This would require a staggering amount of materials and advanced engineering to maintain the structure's stability against gravitational forces and other external factors. The construction of Dyson spheres presents colossal engineering challenges that demand innovative solutions. Advanced civilizations would need to develop materials with exceptional strength-to-weight ratios capable of withstanding the immense gravitational forces of the star while remaining stable. Nanotechnology and advanced manufacturing techniques 
could be employed to create materials that are both lightweight and strong. However, the sheer quantity of materials required for even a partial Dyson sphere is staggering and would necessitate novel methods of resource extraction, transportation, and assembly on a cosmic scale. Creating Dyson spheres involves not only technological prowess, but also careful consideration of ecological balance. The star's energy output affects the habitability of planets within its solar system, and advanced civilizations would need to regulate this energy flow to ensure the preservation of any habitable planets. Balancing the energy requirements of the Dyson sphere with the stability of the star system would be an intricate undertaking, involving intricate calculations and the implementation of advanced control mechanisms. One intriguing aspect of Dyson spheres is their potential to serve as markers of advanced civilizations within the universe. These megastructures could emit distinct signatures, such as infrared radiation, as a result of capturing and utilizing stellar energy. Astronomers could potentially detect these signatures using advanced observation techniques. Detecting Dyson spheres in distant star systems would offer insights into the technological achievements of other civilizations and their mastery of stellar energy. The observation of such structures could be a monumental step toward confirming the existence of advanced civilizations. The mysterious flash seen on Jupiter Jupiter's unpredictable atmospheric conditions continue to be superbly observed by NASA's Juno spacecraft. Juno has been orbiting Jupiter in a highly elliptical trajectory since July 2016, conducting thorough investigations of the colossal planet during its close encounters with its polar regions. Recently, Juno obtained an impressive photograph of a greenish illumination caused by a lightning discharge within a rotating cyclone near the north pole of Jupiter. According to NASA, the spacecraft was positioned approximately 19,000 miles above the cloud tops of the planet. This image was recently released by the agency on June 15th. Citizen scientist Kevin Gill utilized the raw data collected by Juno's instrument to generate the recently released image. The Juno team encourages such partnerships and invites individuals to try their hand at image processing on the JunoCam website. Juno had more than one encounter with lightning on Jupiter, having observed numerous lightning strikes in the planet's dense atmosphere. These observations have allowed scientists to conclude that the lightning on Jupiter bears a striking resemblance to the electrical bolts we witness here on Earth. Nevertheless, there are distinct variations. NASA officials stated that Juno's numerous findings have revolutionized our understanding of Jupiter's atmosphere and internal structure. These discoveries have uncovered an expansive atmospheric weather layer that extends well beyond its visible clouds. Juno is currently embarked on an extended endeavor, set to continue until at least September 2025, as long as the spacecraft remains robust amidst Jupiter's intense radiation conditions. Throughout this prolonged mission, Juno is broadening its scope to comprehensively investigate the entire system, delving into the study of the planet itself, its intricately structured rings and its myriad of moons. Since the dawn of space exploration, numerous astronauts have claimed to have encountered unidentified objects while in space. Many of these sightings have been dismissed by skeptics as mere hallucinations or reflections of light, but others remain unexplained, and have left some wondering if there is more to the universe than we currently understand. One of the most famous of these encounters occurred during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, when astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong reported seeing a strange glowing object following them as they made their way to the moon. The object appeared to be in a fixed position relative to the spacecraft, leading some to speculate that it may have been an advanced craft. Another notable encounter occurred when astronaut James McDivitt reported seeing a cylindrical object that he could not identify. The object appeared to be rotating and emitting a high-pitched sound leading McDivitt to speculate that it may have been a spacecraft of some kind. Story Musgrave is a retired NASA astronaut who has made six spaceflights during his career. However, during one of those missions, he had a strange encounter that he could not explain. In 1996, Musgrave was on board the space shuttle Columbia on the STS-80 mission when he saw a mysterious object in space that he described as a snake. The incident occurred during a 15-day mission, 
when Columbia was orbiting the Earth at an altitude of about 190 miles. Musgrave, who was a payload specialist on the mission, was operating a video camera to film a tether experiment, in which a 12-mile-long cable was extended from the shuttle to test the idea of using tethers to generate electricity in space. As Musgrave was filming the experiment, he noticed a strange object moving across the frame. At first, he thought it was a reflection or a lens flare, but as he zoomed in on the object, he realized it was a long, thin, serpentine object with what appeared to be lights on it. Musgrave estimated that the object was about 10 to 30 feet long and said that it appeared to be moving independently of the shuttle and the tether. He described the object as a giant, snake-like creature that was moving deliberately through space. The encounter lasted for about 10 minutes, during which time Musgrave and his crewmates tried to determine what the object was. They ruled out the possibility that it was a reflection or a lens flare, and also ruled out the possibility that it was a piece of debris or space junk, since it was moving too deliberately and too slowly. They also ruled out the possibility that it was an animal or a bird, since it was moving through the vacuum of space. The incident was captured on video, and the footage has been analysed by researchers, who have suggested that the object could be an advanced craft. However, NASA officials have said that the object was probably a piece of debris or space junk, and that Musgrave and his crewmates misidentified it. Regardless of what the object actually was, Musgrave's encounter has remained one of the most intriguing and mysterious sightings ever reported by an astronaut. It is a reminder that there are still many unexplained phenomena in space, and that the universe is full of mysteries that we have yet to unravel. In 2020, Russian cosmonaut Ivan Wagner captured footage of an unidentified object from the International Space Station. The video showed a fast-moving object with a distinct shape and glowing lights passing over the Earth's atmosphere. The footage quickly gained attention from enthusiasts and skeptics alike, sparking discussions about the existence of extraterrestrial life and the possibility of advanced technologies beyond human comprehension. The object spotted by Wagner is not the first reported sighting from space. NASA astronauts have also reported seeing objects that they could not explain while on missions. The subject of mysterious aircrafts in space has long been a topic of interest and debate among the scientific community and the general public. Despite the compelling nature of the Wagner footage, skeptics argue that the object could have been a satellite, a piece of space debris, or a natural phenomenon such as a meteor. However, some experts have pointed out that the object appears to have manoeuvred in a way that suggests it was not simply a random piece of space debris, also noting that it hovered motionless for several minutes without moving. The Wagner sighting adds to the growing body of evidence that suggests the possibility of extraterrestrial life and advanced technologies beyond human understanding. While the scientific community has yet to provide definitive proof of such phenomena, the fascination and intrigue surrounding the topic continue to capture the public's imagination. As space exploration and technology continue to advance, it is likely that further sightings and evidence will emerge, fueling ongoing discussions and debates about the existence of extraterrestrial life and advanced civilizations. The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration has long been a source of interest for enthusiasts. Many have wondered whether NASA has investigated sightings or encountered unexplained aerial phenomena in their missions. NASA has always maintained that it is a scientific organization focused on space exploration and has not made any formal statement on the existence of extraterrestrial life or mysterious aircrafts. However, there have been reports of NASA astronauts and officials discussing sightings of strange aircrafts and unexplained aerial phenomena. In more recent years, NASA astronauts have reported seeing unusual lights and objects while in space. In 2019, various strange objects were allegedly detected outside the International Space Station, with one user describing them as large, glowing objects that didn't match anything that was close by. Despite these reports, NASA has maintained that there is no evidence of extraterrestrial life or advanced aircrafts. While NASA has not made any formal statement on whether they have investigated sightings or unexplained aerial phenomena, some former NASA employees have spoken out about their experiences. In 2009, astronaut Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who was part of the Apollo 14 mission, 
spoke about his belief in extraterrestrial life and the existence of a government cover-up. He claimed that NASA had been covering up evidence of advanced beings visiting Earth and said that they have been doing this for decades. As of right now, while NASA has not made any official statements on mysterious aircrafts or unexplained aerial phenomena, there have been reports of sightings and experiences by astronauts and officials. The organization's focus on scientific research and space exploration may limit its willingness to publicly discuss such topics, but the public's interest in the possibility of advanced life and aircrafts continues to be a topic of debate and fascination. One of the most fascinating questions that have intrigued scientists, astronomers, and the general public for decades is the possibility of the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. With billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, many of which are sun-like, it seems statistically likely that some of them could host life. However, despite decades of searching and studying the universe, we have yet to find concrete evidence of the existence of aliens. So, why have we seen no sign of aliens? One possible answer is that the universe is too vast, and the distances between stars and planets are too great for us to make contact with aliens. The nearest star system to our own, Alpha Centauri, is more than four light years away. This means that it would take us over four years to travel there at the speed of light. Furthermore, even if we did detect signals from an alien civilization, it would still take years for us to communicate with them, assuming they could receive and send signals at a similar speed. Another possibility is that we have not been looking in the right place. Our search for extraterrestrial life has primarily focused on planets that are similar to Earth, with the assumption that life could only exist in conditions that are similar to those on our planet. However, this assumption may be too narrow, and life could exist in environments that we have not considered, such as underground oceans, methane seas, or extreme temperatures. Additionally, it is possible that we have already received signals from extraterrestrial civilizations, but we have not recognized them. In 1977, the famous WOW signal was detected by astronomers at the Ohio State University, but it has not been detected since. While there are various theories about the origin of the signal, including that it was a transmission from aliens, it remains a mystery. Another possible reason why we have not seen any signs of aliens is that they are simply not interested in communicating with us. It is possible that they have evolved beyond the need for communication, or that they do not see us as a threat or a valuable enough civilization to interact with. Alternatively, it is possible that they are intentionally avoiding us to prevent interference in our development or to maintain the secrecy of their existence. As of right now, the absence of concrete evidence of the existence of aliens remains one of the greatest mysteries in science. While we have not found any definitive proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life, the possibility of its existence remains tantalizingly real. Whether we will ever make contact with aliens or not is still unknown, but the search for extraterrestrial life continues to captivate our imaginations and inspire scientists to explore the universe further. The universe is vast and has countless galaxies, each containing an enormous number of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. As a result, it is difficult to estimate the exact number of planets in the universe. However, scientists have been able to make rough estimates based on current knowledge and data. The Milky Way galaxy, which is the home of our solar system, is estimated to contain between 100 billion and 400 billion planets. Scientists have already discovered thousands of planets outside our solar system using telescopes and other detection methods. Beyond the Milky Way galaxy, there are billions of other galaxies, each containing an estimated number of stars and planets. This suggests that there are potentially trillions of planets in the observable universe. It is worth noting that while there may be an enormous number of planets in the universe, it is also important to consider the conditions required for life to exist. For example, a planet must be in the habitable zone of its star, which is the region where conditions are favorable for liquid water to exist. Additionally, the planet must have the right atmosphere, temperature and other conditions that are necessary for life to exist. While we may not know the exact number of planets in the universe, it is clear that there are many possibilities for discovering new planets and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. With advances in technology and exploration, 
it is likely that we will continue to uncover new information about the planets in the universe and their potential for harboring life. The universe is vast, with countless stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. One of the most significant structures in the universe is the galaxy, which is a collection of billions of stars held together by gravity. Galaxies come in different shapes and sizes, and scientists estimate that there are billions of them in the universe. But just how many galaxies are there? In 2016, a study conducted by an international team of astronomers estimated that there are roughly two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The observable universe is the portion of the universe that we can see from Earth, which is limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe. This estimate was based on data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, which have been used to survey large portions of the sky and count the number of galaxies present. While the number of galaxies in the observable universe is staggering, it is important to note that this estimate only accounts for a small fraction of the entire universe. The universe is believed to be much larger than the observable universe, and it is likely that there are many more galaxies beyond our current reach. Despite the vast number of galaxies in the universe, many of them are too far away to be observed directly. Scientists have developed various techniques to study galaxies indirectly, such as analyzing their light spectra or studying the gravitational lensing effects they produce. By studying galaxies, scientists hope to better understand the formation and evolution of the universe, as well as the processes that drive the formation and evolution of individual galaxies. As of right now, while we may never know exactly how many galaxies exist in the universe, current estimates suggest that there are at least two trillion in the observable universe alone. As technology and techniques continue to improve, it is likely that we will continue to discover new galaxies and gain a better understanding of the vast and complex universe we live in. Scientists find potentially alive 830 million year old microorganisms. A recent discovery has scientists rethinking the history of life on Earth. A team of geologists have discovered potentially living microorganisms that may be 830 million years old. They found the tiny remains of prokaryotic and algal life inside halite crystals. This discovery points to the possibility that halite, also known as rock salt or sodium chloride, may be a great resource for studying ancient saltwater environments. Additionally, just like the microorganisms the geologists found inside the halite crystals, they may find more organisms that might still be alive. This study has many implications for the study of ancient life here on Earth, but also on other planets like Mars. On Mars, scientists have already found salt deposits that may be evidence of ancient water reservoirs. The possible life that scientists found inside the halite crystals also presents ancient life in an entirely new way. In their research paper presenting the study, the team writes, Ancient chemical sediments, both on terrestrial and extraterrestrial origin, should be considered potential hosts for ancient microorganisms and organic compounds. Ancient microfossils had been found pressed into rock formations, which preserve life in a different way than salt. Inside the halite, fluid can be preserved, and these fluid inclusions are incredibly valuable as they contain information about the water at the time the mineral was preserved, like the water temperature, chemistry, and atmospheric temperature. Previously, scientists have found other microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and algae inside halite environments. Some of the questions they are still trying to answer are whether or not those organisms are as old as the halite they live in, and whether or not they are even still alive. The researchers have noted that the fluid inclusions could serve as microhabitats for the organisms. They also know that there are organisms in modern extreme environments that can essentially go into hibernation where they are still alive, with their biological activities slowed down. This could be the case with the microorganisms inside the halite. In addition, they have already found living prokaryotes inside 250 million year old halite, so it's possible that number will reach as high as 830 million with other findings such as this recent one. Scientists researching this finding have noted that these microorganisms can now be identified without destroying the samples, 
which could give scientists a new set of tools that can be used for identification that can have broader implications for our understanding of Earth. Earth has a 27.5 million year heartbeat, but we don't know what causes it. Mother Earth is a mysterious force to be reckoned with. As much as we love to honour ourselves as a great species, we have only existed for a tiny portion of the Earth's current lifespan. There is a reason why ancient pagan societies all over the classical world viewed our beloved planet as a maternal force of divinity. It provides for us, gives us food and resources we can use for our survival and leisure. Whereas in the past our ancestors revered the elements and the power they had over them in fear and fascination, we have taken a stance of control. We like to believe we are in power, but the earth, nature and all chemicals and creatures have existed before we even evolved. Nature has a mind of its own. It does its own thing and cares little for humans. And as it turns out, the earth has a heartbeat and a pulse which has existed for about 260 million years. Currently, there is a lack of explanation as to why this is, but a research team from the University of New York has been carrying out the study with Michael Rapino, a geologist, as the team's leader. This heartbeat is not the kind we are accustomed to. Rather, it is a title given to recurring clusters of phenomena and events. Events such as mass extinction, where major life forms on Earth perish. Past mass extinctions have occurred simultaneously with the Earth's pulse. Generally, whenever there is one major catastrophe happening, it is followed by other minor disasters, volcanic eruptions, fluctuating sea levels, magma spewing from the Earth's crust, among other things. The study concluded that this heartbeat and pulse has repeated various times in a cycle during the past 260 million years, but there is no scientific reason as to why that is. Scientists are baffled by the cycle's existence. The knowledge that our planet, which provides for us, also harshly punishes us and takes away what she has given is frightful to be sure, but there is no need to worry at the moment as the next predicted pulse is not supposed to occur for another 20 million years. In the last 260 million years, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, became extinct, the original continent of Pangaea split into seven, and humans evolved into the civilizations we are today, and all through that time, natural disasters have hit harshly and cruelly, often all at once. Every 27.5 million years, the heartbeat repeats, and disastrous consequences repeat in its wake. Rampino addressed the fact that many geologists believe these events are simply random by assuring them that their study found a continuous cycle which occurs, historically, at the same time, too concise to be random. These geologic events are correlated and not random, says Rampino. Ozone hole near South Park shrinks to smallest size ever. Humanity's impact on the Earth is well known, and our impact on the ozone layer is one that has incited significant action since it was growing year on year. In 2019, the hole in the ozone layer near the South Pole shrunk to its smallest size since 1982. It is not actually a hole, but merely an area with depleted levels of ozone. Specifically, an area in which ozone concentrations drop below the historical threshold of 222 Dobson units. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA, polar orbiting satellites are used to monitor the ozone hole. According to NASA and the NOAA, the Antarctic ozone hole was affected by abnormal weather patterns in 2019 limiting ozone depletion, which led to the smallest ozone hole since 1982. Ozone, which is comprised of three oxygen atoms, occurs naturally in the stratosphere and adds protection to the planet from ultraviolet solar radiation, which can cause cataracts and skin cancer. Stratospheric ice clouds form in the Antarctic when temperatures fall below minus 78 Celsius, and these clouds promote production of chlorine and bromine which when combined with sunlight in the Antarctic spring causes a reaction that leads to a loss of ozone, resulting in the Antarctic ozone hole. The annual ozone hole reached its peak extent of 6.3 million square miles on September 8, 2019, and then shrank to less than 3.9 million square miles for the remainder of September and October. 
unusually warm weather led to the smaller ozone depletion. Similar weather patterns in 1988 and 2002 also resulted in atypically small ozone holes. Normal weather conditions tend to result in a maximum area of about 8 million square miles in late September or early October. The 2019 weather systems were unusually strong, warming the Antarctic stratosphere. It was 16 Celsius warmer than average during September, a time where ozone destruction is normally at its peak. According to NASA, it was the warmest September for 40 years. The Antarctic polar vortex was also weakened, moving its center, which is normally over the South Pole. This slowed vortex rotation, allowing air to sink in the lower stratosphere, which impacted the ozone hole in two ways. It minimized the persistence of polar stratospheric clouds and allowed ozone-rich air from elsewhere in the southern hemisphere to travel to above the Antarctic ozone hole area. There is a massive variability each year with the size of the ozone hole. Whilst 2019 was the smallest on record since 1982, the 2020 hole is above average for the last decade. On September 20, 2020, the annual ozone hole reached its peak area at 9.6 million square miles, driven by persistent cold temperatures and strong circumpolar winds, similar to the value recorded in 2018. However, by approximately 2070, scientists expect the ozone hole to shrink back to the size it was in 1980. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.